Welcome back everyone, Maximilian Senpai is here with another Monster Hunters Journal video, where I read stories about my dear friend, Yuri Milkshake, and his friends, on their many encounters with different monster girls. Now without further delay, let's get into the video. Monster Type Angel Gender Female Yuri's Note I'm not too familiar with monster girls and boys that reside in heaven, but angels are pretty cute and don't wear shoes, which is a-okay with me. Yuri's point of view. You know, I'm kind of uncomfortable about this, Lennon, I said. I'm completely fine dealing with this on my own, you know. I know that boss, Lennon said, but she offered to help you, you know. And you wouldn't turn down the help of a cute monster girl like her, would you? I thought for a second. Yeah, I guess you're right, I said. But, uh, she's an angel and worships and works for the Christian God. Lennon softly poked my nose. The angel knows that you don't believe in her God, Lennon said. She's not going to try and convert you or even bring God up all the time, okay? I nodded. Okay, Lennon, I said. Lennon smiled, kissing my nose. Don't worry, boss. She's very accepting of others, just like you are. She hates it too when people try to force their beliefs on others, Lennon said. That made me smile slightly. That makes me feel a lot better, Lennon, I said. Good, Lennon said, smiling. Now get your ass moving, boss, and bring me back more of your journal. Lennon had left me to meet the angel monster girl on my own. When I arrived, the angel, who was named June. When I arrived, the angel introduced herself as June, before giving me a hug. The hug was tight and full of love. It made me smile slightly. Once June released the hug, she stepped back from me. So, the succubus, right? I said. Correct, June said. You've been informed of her crimes, correct? I have, I said. The vicious murders of three men and two women. June let out a soft sigh. The violence that some creatures can muster, June said. It's saddening. I sighed. I know, I said. June smiled up at me. Shall we start our investigation? She asked. I smiled kindly. That sounds like a good idea, I replied. June and I arrived at an old, abandoned church where the succubus had been hiding for a few days now. The sun had completely... The sun had nearly completely set. June and I knew that the succubus wouldn't go anywhere, knowing that she'd be safe inside. The succubus was also very young and wouldn't be able to sense June and I until we were inside of the church. June and I made a fire outside. Do you have a plan? June asked. I looked at the church. Once inside, we locate her quickly, I said. Hopefully, we'll be able to kill her without a fight. June softly took a hold of my hand. You sound like you'd rather not kill her, June said. I sighed. I'd rather not, I said. I'd rather have monster girls and boys educated properly so they won't kill or harm humans. June blushed slightly. But, she began, she's already killed, I said. June smiled slightly. Would you like my blessing before we go in? June asked. I slowly looked towards her. Your blessing? I asked. June nodded, her cheeks turning a slight shade of red. I sensed that her blessing wasn't like a normal one. My cheeks also turned a light shade of red. You mean, I began. June smiled. Yes, she said. I took a deep breath. Are you sure? I asked. June nodded with a smile on her face. I'm really sure, June said. Without another word, June crawled onto my lap before kissing me sweetly on the lips. I arrived home the next afternoon, entering my office and was greeted immediately by Lennon, who smiled. So what happened? Lennon said. I walked over to my desk before sitting down. Lennon flew over and sat down on my shoulder. We didn't kill the succubus, I said. Really? Lennon said. But she killed those people. I shook my head. She didn't, I said. It was a lie by the village just so someone would kill and get rid of her. I looked at Lennon. She was only five years old, I said. What'd you do, boss? Lennon asked. I took her to Miss Harley, the headmistress of the school I went to, I said. I trust that she'd know what to do. Lennon nodded. That's good, Lennon said. Now, what do you have for the journal? I smiled slightly. I smiled slightly. I'm not telling until I send it over to you, I said, teasing her. Lennon giggled, softly pinching my ear. You're such a tease, boss, she said. Thanks for watching, Perv Army. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Don't feel like you have to, though, only if you really enjoyed the content. Thanks again for watching, and Maximilian Senpai will see you next time. Goodbye.